Hey, it's Arrow, and this is Vocal Defrag. Vocal Defragging, it's a journey. It's a walk. It's uh, exploration. Not everybody wants to really get to know who they are, but this serves as an invitation for you to just at least try it. Ask yourself the questions, and then question the answers. Don't belittle yourself. Be nice to yourself. Show some love to the inner core of your being. Just ask some questions. Very simple. Start off very simple questions, and then turn around and question the answers answers. Not like a father or a mother figure, because you know how they always are, and you know how you were when you were two years old. But why? But why? But why? Let's let's eliminate the word why from asking these questions, because why leads us to almost nowhere. It's like, uh, well, I thought about it, I questioned it, and then I questioned the answer, but it got us nowhere. This is Vocal Defrag. My subject today is based on something that I've been practicing now and living for probably maybe the last maybe four to six months. It's called building your windows. We live in a society today that's got so much anxiety and stress going on, not just on certain particular days of the week, but every day, every moment. Doesn't matter what hour you walk into the house or walk into your job, there's just going to be drama all around. Around us. And the expectations of others, of us, is through the roof crazy. You know, people want things from you right now. Not yesterday, not in two weeks. Everything has to be given to them right now. So you have to sit there and you have to figure out, how am I going to get all of this done and still meet their expectation? Well, building windows to me is physically sitting down with a notebook and writing out the expectations of others and what time they need it and what time do I have available to go on to the next project. I live a Google Calendar lifestyle. I've got so many things that are going on at all times. The anxiety levels have been just really not in a good place. So by creating this map that I call Building Windows, I'm able to piece together all of the interviews that I do on a daily basis on the podcast and have, let's say, seven minutes here before the next one, maybe 15 minutes before the next one. But in that seven to 15 minutes, the goal is to utilize the openness of doing something other than just sitting there waiting. Waiting is one of those things that gets underneath my skin. It is a trigger. So instead of sitting in the studio waiting to do the next interview, I've created a window to experience an accomplishment. And isn't that really what we're all looking for is an accomplishment to be able to say, I got this done. So the challenge for you would be in creating these windows is sit down with your calendar. Write down the meetings you're about ready to have. Sit down with yourself and really plan out the day. And even if it includes having a cup of coffee with a with a coworker or a friend, put that on the calendar as well. Put that on that, that space that says, this is my windows for the day. And it will help you lower your anxiety level, or as I always say, it'll help you find your calm. And isn't calm that one area that we wish we could find more than just once or twice a day? Calm. So the goal is to create your windows. Lay out the path of what the expectations are for the day that you're about ready to go through. Don't do this the day of. Do this the day before. So that when you wake up the next morning, you will have the comfort of knowing that it's planned out. And if there are changes in your day, and we don't like changes, especially me, what happens is is that you've allowed those windows to embrace the unexpected changes. Because you know that you don't have 50,000 things to do in one day, you only have like seven or eight things to do, but you've created enough window space to where you know you can do it at a really good pace. Build your windows. Go into your day knowing that there's going to be a nice rhythm to it. And like I said, when there's change, it's okay. You have the window space to have a great day. I'm Errol, and that's Vocal Defrag.